I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message on me, you know, flexing on me, my attorney gon' call it collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my success is only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. This is the pre-game show. This is the optic pre-show game. <laughs> Yo, man, <laughs> nobody can come up with a jingle. But you've been, <laughs> you've been asking good. that forever. Since Huntsman, I've that been was... asking for for an intro. Guys, we're gonna have we're gonna have to host a an American Idol uh sort of show where you guys, you know, That'd actually be not bad. See who come up with the best jingle. Yeah, who can come up? How much? A thousand dollars? I mean, how much is how much does something like that go for? I mean, you a yeah, guys bucks do and not you get listen. Do not show. do not do it. Don't do it because <laughs> Hutch is gonna yell at me like you should have been paying him just for participating. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, we're not <laughs> optic jingle, bro. Yeah, for an optic jingle. Um, anyway, welcome episode one of the new season, uh, major one. I mean, what's it called? Major one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, major one. Open bracket. Yeah, looking forward to it. Hey, you you've been keeping up, right? You you are you doing watch parties? Hmm. I watch. Optic play the other day. That's about it. You don't you don't do watch parties like the whole thing. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't really like streaming the watch parties. Like I, I like playing Warzone and streaming, but like I'd rather just watch hey, on my on couch or time. something yeah, like that. Exactly. That's how I feel about it. So, so you just like you just watch. I'd rather just like kick back, eat, and like enjoy. Yeah, that's yeah, what so, that's what I did. Some some days, like you know, I'll I'll throw on like a match or two or. Well, it depends. Yeah, Jude, Jude, uh, Jude ordered us food, put the game on. She's like, hey, the food's here, and, and the game's on. I was like, hell yeah, yeah baby, yeah, I'm exactly. on my way. Instantly goes to yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, yeah, let's go eat, and the mood was through the roof right away. So uh, this episode is brought to you by Oakley, Jack in the Box, and our friends over at Razor, Optic Hacks, Razor, Mousepad coming soon. I don't know when. But uh, but it's been delivered, so we're just we're just waiting for a couple of shipments. Everything's everything's crazy right now with everything. So uh, I think that we need to just get get uh, started. We have a man, money biscuit to my left, but the goat of goats, Mister Damon Karma Barlow. You know, there's been a lot of talk about who is going to be the one to replace Sethery Abner, and I I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's crazy we were having a talk yesterday in the court it was me mir uh i can't remember i think spacely was in there and we we're and we were talking like who's the tom brady of cod who is the tom brady hey, look, look ultimate, at that hair. ultimately it came down to damon he's the tom brady he i'll is. take that i mean <laughs> yeah, if that's what they're gonna say you know i'll go with it <laughs> i mean i don't know he just got divorced man he's well <laughs> <laughs> he's going on a journey He's he's on sheet. He's having right. a rough one right now. Yeah, he's not having the the, the best one, but he's <laughs> still Tom Brady, right? Like yeah, it does, exactly. That doesn't go away. So, what do you say? Do do you do you accept this very gracious offering that I'm giving you, Maximus? I mean, there's like a world where I I, I don't think I could decline that one. <laughs> <laughs> you, you'd have to, right? You have to. You, right. You'd have to fill oh, in. Like, no, man, just, no matter how it went, you know, that's like a. That's like getting actual good players. Yeah, I don't know. That that's hard to come by. That's hard. Yeah, of course it is. Now, yeah. in, in, especially in, and on top of getting into the league. So you know. Yeah. Well, look, I I'll tell you one thing. I think uh, it would be very, um, how do I say this? It, it'd be a good thing for you. You you come you come on to Optic to replace Nate Shot, and now you come back to compete by replacing Scump. It couldn't have been, like, I, I could not have written it better. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. When when uh, when Matt retired from Call of Duty, I said, "I'm like, yo, play Halo." Like I told him, "Yo, play Halo." And he's like, he's like, "Nah, nah, I'm just gonna chill." And then what happens? What happens, Matt? <laughs> you know what happened? He played Halo. Won a world championship. Yeah, take your time. The mic was in front of you the whole time. You took nine <laughs> yeah, hours to get off to, everything. Yeah, to do something. Um. So yeah, look. Oh, there's, there's, we have a two and two record right now. Shotzi is playing from home because he came down with the vid. So I think, uh, really? I think, yeah, he, he had COVID. Uh, but I think he's he's on his way down I don't now. Don't even leave. How did he get? Huh? You don't even leave the crib, right? How do you get? Nah, we, we have our own theories as to how he he received it. Obviously, he's not the only one that lives there. Um, you know, you just never know. You can be in an elevator with somebody that has it, and then. Those three people that were with that person, and then it spreads again. No, I right, yeah, no. If it comes to me, though, you better believe that I'm good, though. I've been through it. My, my immune <laughs> system's through the roof. White cells, ready. My mom works at the hospital. She's gotten COVID like four times this year. 
Has she? They just don't give a fuck. Like, do I gotta go to the hospital my damn self? Do you haven't gotten it at all? I've gotten it once. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. So, you know, the adjustment from from uh from playing here in the HQ, and I will say it is kind of cold in here, so they is, we so. can only imagine how much of uh, complainers they would have been uh, this time around. But they get down there, <laughs> and and that room is too hot, right? So it's like it's it's a little bit of an adjustment. You're not gonna have perfect oh. playing conditions. Bro, this he was is in the, perfect. He was downtown here. in the HQ. Yeah. Okay. Why? Well, I mean, there's more people down there, so not, I could. Yeah, but nobody there had it though, and and the and the day that he or the day after, the day that he tested positive was the day after the uh, the the rocker charades, which is which is crazy. And nobody Easy. else got sick. Nobody there? else. We all. We I made everybody quarantine. Nobody came in. Matt sent got sent home. Everybody that was in that room. Ice. Everybody got sent home. No. I nobody feel come. like it just happens. It's weird. Like, yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's gonna become more and more frequent, and you know, it's it it's, it depends because Hitch just got super sick uh, from from coming back from uh, Colorado, but that wasn't yeah. COVID, and he said that's the sickest he has been. And he's had COVID, Bam. so I don't know. What do you think about the meta change from the M4 to the Scar? Is that is that a weapon that you personally use? I I mean, sure, it's like an all-purpose gun, like you use it for whatever. But bro, it's the same thing. You're gonna run into the same problem. You're swapping an AR for an AR. Maybe that AR is a little bit better than the Scar, mm -hmm. but it's like I feel like you're gonna run into almost the same problem. I could be wrong because well, it, in Black Ops Two, I the worst thing ever. Like I, this was the worst thing for me when they were talking about putting streaks in. I was like, oh, remember that? Wasn't streaks wasn't in the beginning, right? No. It wasn't. No, 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 no. Black Ops Two. I can't remember, but they were talking about streaks coming in. I'm like, oh, this is the worst thing ever, and then it became one of the greatest things. One so of the greatest I was things. Like, yeah. So, like, I can't really judge off little things, but, like, I think they're still going to run into the same problem. I mean, I don't really mind that kind What of is stuff. the problem? Well, when I was watching, like, the M4 definitely is more all around like, better. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I think they, they brought up a stat, at least on the flank, that was, like, before the M4 was GA, it was, like, 27% kills by Vaznev, or maybe it was less. And then after the change to the Scar, I think it was 38% of the kills like this weekend were from the Vaznev. So like it made it easier for them. And I think the Vaznev players will become a, like more impactful as time goes on. Uh, but it, oh yeah, there's the stats right there. Oh, so 14% increase, which I mean, it leveled it out. Like I said, the M4 definitely was like a more all, all round gun. Like I don't think people are running around like, doing like yeah, with, with the scar, like they did yeah, with the yeah. M4. This, the attack's still good, but I think uh, the fire rate, too, and the hip fire that was on the M4 was like kind of crazy. Yeah, even, even though Seth has had the, the craziest transition, obviously going from a, from an SMG to an AR, like, I mean, he, he, does, does nobody remember him with the, uh, with the SCAR? Was it the SCAR? Did he used to play in Modern Warfare 3? What did he use? It was the SCAR, wasn't it? The ACR. The ACR. The SCAR. Oh, well, Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. Tar, SCAR, yeah, and yeah, ACRs. Yeah, yeah, the ACR, yeah. It was the ACR. Yeah. Yeah, they look, he, he's and he he's, uses that as all purpose, all purpose, and that's what he's doing right now. Obviously, he'll he'll switch back and forth, uh, with the majority of his time being spent on uh, on on the on the scar. But you know, I'm, I'm I'm personally not surprised. Obviously, that's uh that's his bread and butter. It was his bread and butter back then. So I don't know, dude. Even even when I played with him, like, dude, he his play style, like, he can easily play an AR, like, yeah. and like he low key could like almost do better with it. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean he's he, kind of doing it. <laughs> yeah, he's doing it right now. Rated right number one. I, I told, I told, he texted me one day. He's like, he's like, man, look at this shit. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm too good. He's like, it's like I gotta retire. And I was like, you can't run away from who you are, Simba. Uh, dude, the crazy. If like, if this game actually had red dots and like normal dead silence, like, I mean, he's doing, he's doing really good with, with that, like being a thing. Like if it was normal, he'd bro, normal, probably be frying even, even have, more. It could even be like tuned down, like bro, bushes climbing. You, this is all things you want to hear. Bushes climbing. Someone like, obviously you can hear someone throwing a nade. If you jump off a building, it, you can hear you your, break your, bones your legs. Crack. Like yeah. little stuff, bro. I don't want to hear no stomp. I don't want to be here stomping tw because whether people say it or it does change. You probably 100%. get like five to ten kills yeah. in the respawn strictly off hearing someone. Yeah. Like some like yeah, like even like Seth doing as good as he's doing right now, like like there's probably so many times where like he's dying and it's just you can't control it. Yeah. Like that that stuff just makes like or brings such like a big RNG factor to like you know, whether you like sometimes you control like as much as you 
or you used to be able to control like up to like a certain point like then luck kind of becomes like a thing but like now with the footsteps and all that like you can only control so much yeah. so like it's still pretty impressive that he's doing that good and i mean honestly it's almost impressive when anyone's doing good like because like i said i i personally think you can only control so much like sometimes you're just gonna die like there was a match this week in kleenex like kleenex is filthy disgusting dude, he had like like less than 20 kills and like the whole match like he was he's getting tucked yeah. like, what, what can you do he, he's got a sub and he doesn't have dead silence yeah. he had like a trophy bro but you just you can't do anything about that no there, there, i mean there really isn't and now uh, scump uh top three in kd so far this year how does scump's final season feel for you guys how do you feel? I mean, obviously, you, you team with him at some like point. Feeling as in, like, well, how is he going to do? Or just like, yeah, in general? just in general. Oh. Um, uh, I think he's going to, I mean, he's already put on a performance, right? Mm -hmm. So we already got that aspect out the way. I think he's going to do good. You know, I think he's going to do what Scump always does. I mean, there hasn't been a time where you're, I ever felt like, oh, he's not Scump. He's still Scump. He's still bullying people. I'm, yeah. what, what year is this? 13th year. 13th year. Yeah, like, what's crazy, what's crazy is that at the end of this season, four champs, it's going to be exactly his 100th tournament. That's crazy. Is that not the stars yeah, aligning who wrote, who wrote to set? that script right there? <laughs> it wasn't me as much as I want to, you know, as Damn. much as I'd like to take credit for it. It's that. Uh, sniping is back. Um, Illy. Illy. Oh, what I what that, a collateral? Yeah. I, I mean, look, I, I think at at, uh, at, at, that, at pro level, anybody can pick up a sniper rifle and, and be like above and beyond good. Mm -hmm. uh, but man, just Illy has been like, obviously, we all thought that, that Dashie was going to be the one to, to pull it out. And I don't know the, the real reason as to why. Do you know why? Uh, I, at least I was saying this yesterday is kind of like not on the topic but I was just saying like from what I know Illy from I don't know it, like if he's changed his play style to like with the team or whatever but from what I know him from he could do it all on SD. do it all like he was one of the best SD players I've played against like period like back in the day like he was amazing so when he pulls out a sniper and I see that shit, I'm like, of course, this is what he's supposed to be doing. He yeah. can do this. The like. lineup for the collateral. <laughs> I mean, he's uh, he's he's been he's been doing his thing, and then and, and it just shows like the level of wrong. You know what? I don't I don't play at a pro level, so I can't say that the, all the pros are. Well, but sniping should have never been dismissed or removed ever, right? It is such an important part of Call of Duty. It is what got Call of Duty sniping got Call of Duty this popular. Period. Yeah, definitely. Because if it wasn't for sniping, we wouldn't have gotten that popular. And if we wouldn't, have, yeah, anyway. Long story short, I'm I'm so happy That's what that they're back. back in the day. All sniper shit. Yeah, I, I'm just I'm just glad that it's, that it's back uh, in the CDL. It's definitely something. Karma, you know your way around the sniper rifle. What do you? Uh I mean, I like that it's in. Um, I think as time goes on, though, I I don't think you're gonna see as like a big impact from the snipers. Like at least from playing this game too. Um. Most of the maps, it seems really easy to avoid the sniper. Like you, you go on a map like There's Mercado. Like, it. like if you don't go middle on Mercado, what's the sniper gonna do? Like yeah, he might get a pick at the house, but if they get the house and get out, get the bomb down, dude, you're not doing anything. Yeah, you're probably gonna lose around. Yeah, and then like Embassy, like Embassy is probably the best one, I think. But other than that, I don't think you'll really see it much. But it is good. It's just whether or not you can actually make like something out of it, because. Like I said, I think teams will work their way around the snipers pretty easily. Because yeah. it's still early, right? It's only like a month yeah. into the game. Yeah, it's it, just, I mean, it's the second week and just passed. The angles that people are playing now, they'll figure out a way to, like, counter. Yeah. yeah. Like, I saw a cheesy spot that I forgot who was in it. He was, like, on a door and opened the door. Octane, but was using when he got the door three the other glitch. night. I was like, oh, yeah. my God. I know it's Clay. Is, I'm, I'm all it Clay. Clay. That was yeah. such a raunch spot. I'm like, holy I'm all God. About, I'm all about the... the the finding of the spots, the you know the, the map monkey uh, dot com of the of the maps, right? Like utilizing finding um, some of the stuff. Like w the the ones that I was seeing from Shotzi were mine. But I'm not even gonna tell him because I don't know if he's used them. But I was <laughs> like, what the like? That's so nerd. Yeah, like, I was what, like, never in my life would have thought to do that. I was playing the other day. After who was I playing with? Someone's like, do the Shotzi jump. I'm like, dude, <laughs> get the, don't bring that up to me. I don't know how to do, do the Shotzi shot no. jump. <laughs> do the Shotzi jump. Okay. Yeah, let me just do that real quick. Yeah, yeah no, bro, I said, saw that one clip. I was like, 
Yeah, it'll do crack. I saw Teej do the little belly flop the other day. He's like in tune with his character's <laughs> movement, like yeah. to the fullest. Yeah, like he he means to make every move. Uh, yes. Like, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I think I think he's is crazy. The the other crazy thing that I wanted to touch on before we go on uh, and give you guys a, a trailer for process is that the CD the, the the Call of Duty Mobile World Championship is taking place in Raleigh also. During while we're there, and there is a one point seven million dollar prize pool with seven hundred thousand mm. dollars of that going to first place. I gotta ask you. Yeah. I just have to know. All right. So where did they? Where did like? Where did that money for this tournament come from? Do they from have like in game. In like, game, they have. They have all the. You can you can use the MS USMC, uh, the MSMC, anything. anything. You, everything. On, in mobile, you can use and wear anything. There is a, a YouTuber character in mobile. Oh, wait. There, there, yeah, <laughs> there is. Ferg, right? I think his name. Shout out Ferg. No, no, uh, that's that's the dude. Uh, but yeah, Ferg's got got a got a skin in there. I think somebody else has a skin in there. And um, I guess I gotta maybe I gotta that go. prize pool almost bad, as like, big as champs or is that's it what bigger? I was, dude, that's kind of <laughs> insane. Seven hundred k. Yeah, or I don't they know. They get like 800k, right? <laughs> Bro, that's great for the first one. Yeah, for like, the first, oh, major. The first the, Yeah. Well, it's a, it is the World Championships. Like, it, it it takes place, I mean, oh, the it world culminates. Oh, I, I didn't, yeah, it's, bad, it I is the World this. Championships for 1.7. That's still that's impressive. Crazy. Still yeah, crazy. that's still impressive. I'm, I'm going to be watching for sure. I'm gonna, that's I'm, nuts, but I can't take COD Mobile serious. No? Not, nah, it. dude. I watch a competitive video. Uh, it's crazy, though. I mean, props to them. I'm all for all right, it. I want to know how they play it. Do they play with the backbone? What do you mean? The the backbone is the courageous thing. Oh, I don't know. It's like it's like, it's a, like, it's it's like, like a control. It's like yeah. it has to be like a certain dimension. Like I was looking at the rules and stuff. It's oh shit. So it's gotta really? be. It's, yeah. it's got an iPad or something. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, uh, I'm super excited to to go, man. I am gonna be watching. I'm gonna be in the crowd. I'm going to be cheering for whoever's winning. Uh, cause man, 700k for first. Uh, how many players are there? Uh, uh, is it one v ones? No, the free no. for all. Imagine, like, bro. It was I. I saw the video. I saw they were playing fire and range, and it's like five v five or four v four. Okay, yeah. I gotta see this, bro. What is this? Anytime that I see a spray can at the beginning of anything, look at this. Hold on. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god, this is graffiti font. Damn, they got people from everywhere. Yeah, Southeast Asia. Mobile's got to be popping. Yeah, I mean, I guess everyone can play it, right? Dude, look at this. This is, 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 is that not it? What I was saying? Yeah, yeah. Supremacy. You know, I come from a world where where what? Oh, what oh it is five v five. Oh, damn, that's wild. That's kind yeah, of that, I'm excited, dude. There's gonna be a lot of people at this place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah look at this. I, I will. I will say though. Look at this, <laughs> bro. Okay, Matt, we get it. Let's go. Let's go. On a, oh I'm, I'm waiting God, for this thing to bro. be over. Anyway, uh, let's go on a quick commercial break. Let's say, uh, let me show you the the trailer for process. Enjoy. It. It, it it always comes back to like, are you done? Are you really? Are you sure that you are ready to go on to your next iteration of whatever your career is going to be? It's just mind blowing to me that we're here. I, I didn't ever think that it would get to this point. Bro, bro, Ray, 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 Ray. Every team I've ever been on has had insane amounts of heartbreak and insane amounts of clutch moments. Yeah, there was this guy that does stats online, um, and he basically like broke down all of our major implications. So we knew going in that we basically had to win. It, it, was, it was the first time that I knew he was serious, right? On, on all the other times that he's told me this, there's been a little bit of doubt. This is an exact comparison to that one. And that's where the problem lies with us. I've never seen something like this. Definitely a little bit of bad blood there, and uh, you know, a little more on the line every time we play. I'm about to have a heart attack. <laughs> Woo! Nice! Oh my god! Oh my god! Sorry to interrupt you eating the Jack's Munchies meal. Mm. Delish. Mm-hmm. You, you, you eat those? Jack Munchie meal? Yeah. 
Bro, I, I got I, I got like tw- the t- I like the tacos. Bro, I got to LA and uh and I'm oh, like there is tacos. It was just when we when we did the merger and I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna order Jack in the Box, see what I'm gonna be promoting. I was surprised. <laughs> curly Pumper fries Jack in the box. Don't put curly fries in front of me. That's my that is my jam. And these the did tacos, not disappoint. What is it? The 10, taquitos? 15, or there's like I think it's fifteen little tacos you get for I forgot for how like much. One dollar, I think. Eat, bro. They're delicious. They're so good. I mean, it's, it's, it's huh? Like one biters? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're so good, yeah, bro. it's like it's like beans and tortilla, man. What else I, I can live off of that? Um, I'm a professional Mexican after all. All right, let's uh, let's talk about the groups uh, really quickly in this major. Uh, the format, uh, the group format to the bracket. I don't think we have any of those yet. Uh, but Optic is in Group B. In Group B, we also have uh, the Mutineers, Toronto Ultra, and a Challengers team. Think, think it could be Dog Sensor Martin. That'd be dope. Yeah, man. Is Doug dope. even there? Is Doug even there? I'm assuming, right? He's yeah, a challenger. Yeah, he might be. He goes too hard to he, not be there. Right. He had to seen something I I said on stream or something the other day because I just looked at my phone before I came in. Yeah. And he was like, he was like, I took that seriously when you told me to hop on flags. Make sure you keep <laughs> tuning in or something like that. Wait, like, is that to you? Out of the blue, yeah. <laughs> That's dope, man. He's a. Uh, He's 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 definitely somebody that goes after Doug's it. Doug's so taken can't nine that. years ago to the heart, and he's yeah. you know laying it all out. Hey, it's it's what sometimes that's what it takes. Yeah, I gotta respect it. All right, so let's go again. Uh, group A is Rocker Gorillas, uh, Subliners, and of course Challengers team, and then Group B, which I just mentioned, is Ultra Us and Mutineers. Group C, Phase Surge, they La- have Latin a America tie. or London? No, is- LA Thieves. They're, oh, LA there Thieves or London? I'm like, damn, Latin Wait. Americans showed up. They uh they tied in like every possible category. So mm-hmm. Wednesday or Thursday they have to play tiebreaker. Got it. And then that's what will determine who goes where. Yeah. So in Group C, either London or LAT are going to be, and then Group D to join them, either LAT or London is going to be Legion, Breach, and of course Challengers teams on both of those. Um, well, okay, let's just really quickly, really quick predictions uh, out of Group A. Who do you think is the strongest team right now? No Challengers. Uh Rocker. Same you way. said A, right? Yeah, A. Yeah. The Rocker? Yeah. Yeah, I do I too. Similar. I mean, dude, like, They did just lose to Paris, so like a, I, everything could kind of be like a toss-up. But, yeah. But of all the three, yeah, I'm probably taking them. We Even have, though uh, New York's been on a hot streak. Yeah. 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 I mean, dude, I, I like like you just said, everybody has been yeah, on, it's on, on a hot like, streak. It's, it's know, up in the air. Yeah. yeah. Especially because it's the beginning of the game, so everybody's still sort of acclimating to the to the movement, and that's 100%. usually and traditionally where we sort of take a, take a lead. And it's like all down to like decision making. Yeah. Like everyone can kill super fast in this. And it's like, who's making the better plays? That's really all it's going to come down to. What do you, what do you think there, Maddie? Group A. Yeah, Rocker. That's Rocker. Group E? Obviously, Optic. Regardless. Even right, if well, I hold didn't the, think... Don't, don't just let him answer. Oh, I'm on bad try, 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 to, try to set him up. See, <laughs> see, if he, see if he still wants to work here. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, group C, Matt. Who do you got? Uh... They have phase. We'll go phase. Phase? Right. What about you? I would I I wanna say I saying phase, but at the same time, big surge fan here, so I, either phase or surge. What about you? Uh well I mean Surge I think is a really good team. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on that made them one and three. But it's crazy because both of the teams who are in the decider are really good. London London and LA Thieves. Are both really good right now? Yep. But, but I'm, hey, I'm going to go with it, phase with the two teams. Phase the obvious answer right here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to go with Atlanta phase, although I am uh, uh, a fan of the surge, man. It is crazy when you look Fucking at it. Pred, he was just on the podcast. Scares me sometimes. A- everyone is two and two. They're all like the same. What we got one team three and one. No, two teams three and Rocker one. Rocker at the number one spot, baby. Look at that. I mean, let's just say they're two and two. Toronto so that's Ultra like, at the number two. That's like everyone's two and two. Who is the king of the north? You uh, know, is yeah. it Toronto? Is it Rocker? <laughs> Who's the better purple? It's crazy, even. Yeah. All right. And then Group D. Do you have uh, methods? Do you have uh, Clay? Definitely Boston. Boston? I think they look good. Yeah, Boston does look good. They, they did lose good. the other night. But, but I rather see, I like I want to see methods. I, I want to say breach. Obviously, I'm thinking breach, but yeah. I would like to see Clay, him do their thing at yeah. this event. Dude, I'm gonna be honest, man. Uh, after uh, the, the the after uh, interview that they did with uh, with Clay, he said he's like, man, you know that's that's why I play that that win, no matter how little or whatever. Like that is why I do this, and that was that's uh 
I watched Clay a lot in the beginning, and like he's yeah, he's Clay's been doing nice. good. I thought he was doing good. Yeah. Um, well, I hope I hope I hope that uh, you know, I hope I hope that it's I hope that a good show comes out of this, right? I think uh, the fans deserve nothing less but a banger. I want to see black eyes. I want to see <laughs> scratches. Oh, some I want to crazy see things will probably happen. Yeah, oh, it, yeah. oh, yeah. It's probably gonna be a shocker once this weekend's done. Yeah, oh, yeah. you think like, so? What the hell just happened? It's gonna be like the World Cup. Oh, fucking Brazil's yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. No, let's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's let's hope it's not that crazy. So uh, just the standings, just so you guys have them in the back of your heads. Uh, Minnesota Rocker at number one. Toronto Ultra. Boston. Uh, Atlanta. LA Thieves. Us. London. Uh, New York. Los Angeles. Flo- uh, Gorillas. Uh, Florida. Seattle and Vegas. What is that? There's like seven teams. How many teams? Three to yeah. Three to ten. Yeah, seven are all two and two. Yeah. Look at that. How? I mean, like is that in Minnesota? Oh, is, is it the map thing? Minnesota could have been two and two. I think the maps are like a big thing. Hundred percent. So what? Uh, like the, the veto system is going to be. Oh, like, never mind. I think it's play? more so what side you start on. Mm. Like if you get a fortress S and D, I think that map's pretty fifty fifty from what I've saw. If you get a fortress control and you have defense, yeah, we well, got a pretty good chance of winning. And I, I don't know. I think it kind of goes for that for like a, a lot of maps. I think the hard points are the hardest thing to play right now. Yeah. Like the team who's good at hard point is probably going to have a pretty big advantage. Yeah. Well, I, that's I, what I, I gather. The I don't know. Re- I mean, not everyone, but the, a lot of them seem like relative, re- uh, relatively close. Like when I look, it's like, damn, yeah. I mean, only lost by what fifty. Yeah, there's no one getting like super smoke yeah, show. Like no. slammed, no. Like Vegas kind of got slammed the other day versus Phase, but they still had like a close hard point. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Not only that, but I think uh, I mean again, we'll see as the as as the as the year progresses. Obviously, yep. as always, but I uh, I am interested to see if if. Uh, what are the challengers are going to do? You think they're going to spice this up at all? I do think so, man. I yeah. have a feeling they might spice it up. I, I do think so, man. And, and 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 why not? Why not be the first map, right? Like th- I think at this point, the amount of reps that you get in is important, but also oh, the hunger for it. Also, I think that there is going to be a challenger team out there that is going to be like, you know what? This is our mm-hmm. time. Let's just give it our all. This might be because you got you got to take into account. This might be one of the first times or last times that they ever get to play against a professional team like this. Yeah, I mean, they usually get like one chance a year, right? Yeah, Last and, year they got and, one chance. And, and here it is. They got a whole tournament basically Wednesday to start it off. Yeah. And then they get thrown in into that. Like, well, if someone could come out with some fire this weekend. I'm hoping for, sure. for it, man. I'm hoping for it. Uh, anyway, let's get back to the... Uh, to the stuff. Um, well, let's get back to the uh, to the main thing. I think one of the last things that we need to cover before before we go is how S and D has been playing out lately, right? Some apps have one bomb site that people prefer. I've always been. Yeah, there's always been. It's I, always. I like to mix it up. The only time I mix it up is when, like, you know, you're gonna throw them off or something. But like, oh yeah, that's there's always been one. Your favorite. Favorite bomb. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a little different in this game, though. Yeah. How you, you like be on fortress. How many times have you seen that planted? No, never. It's like where the enemy spawns. Yeah. You know, they spawn on it. Yeah. That's hard. See, I yeah. almost feel like that map should be flip flopped. I always want I like I know what you, I know what I you think mean. you know what you know now that you say that, I think it was meant to be flip flopped and it was just like something yeah. in the code. Because it makes no sense, no, right? It doesn't really. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like it's Bro, it's like I I don't even know if anyone's playing a B yet, like through these two weeks. See, anytime I do play that map. I always want have someone one person playing it. Like us three go somewhere else. Oh, you else gotta, because like if they like, get there, yeah. there. <laughs> if they get there, how do I, like how are you gonna get it's them out of there? Yeah. But it's like getting there is well, he got one door, kind of. And then shit, the other one is a slam fest. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I, I for one, I'm having a lot of fun watching these matches. Uh, you know, obviously it's competition at its best, and 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 I'm I'm here for it, and we'll continue to be here for it for the foreseeable future until the wheels fall off of this thing. Certainly. Uh, so one last thing, I guess the top four challengers team will move on to compete against the CDO Pro teams in group play, which is what we just mentioned right now. So. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to that. Anyway, if you guys have any predictions, if you guys uh, want to leave in the description, in the comment section down below, who from each group is going to advance, we'd appreciate it. Uh, we'll take a look at it and and give somebody a cookie virtually, uh, whoever gets it right. So, dude, like, I, I would be impressed by like a good pickums. Like even if you know you have like a couple losses or something, yeah. I'll be impressed. Yeah, you impress me. If you had like I don't know six teams get through and you were right about it, damn, I don't know something you, like that. You think that's that big of a coin toss? I don't think it's a coin toss, but it's just like with seven out of the 12 teams, two and two, arguably there could be more teams two and two. 
And you have teams who are in last beating teams who are, are high up. Yeah. I, I don't know. Mm. Part of me thinks that coin toss, <laughs> but I don't want to like take away like yeah, you know no, the of ability not. of no, all no, the no, players no, no. Of in the teams. Not. Of course but, not. But no. I think I think it. When, when, when we say coin 50, toss, 50. we're not saying one team's going to get lucky, but it is coming down to those in-game decisions that is going to get them yeah. uh, to the victory. So, with that said, uh, let's get to it. Enjoy the show, everybody. Please get over there. First link in the description down below. It's probably going to be our watch party. Do are we having a watch party? No, we're not having a watch party. Uh, you guys are so be yeah, there. <laughs> first link in the description down below. Go check them out. Tell them who sent you. We'll see you guys next time with a brand new tune as the intro. Goodbye. Beep, bop, bop, beep.